Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First of the highlights. CBN to go after Aboki FX for allegedly operating illegal forex trading platform. Federal High Court grants 20 billion naira damages to Sunday Boho. National Industrial Court restrains resident doctors from continuing ongoing strike. Nigeria's Apex Bank has vowed to go after the founder of Aboki FX, Olusegun Oniwinde, for operating an illegal and criminal forex trading platform. The Central Bank of Nigeria has vowed to go after the founder. Take two. The Central Bank of Nigeria has vowed to go after the founder of Aboki FX, Olusegun Oniwinde, accusing him of trying to kill the Nigerian economy. In an interview with journalists after the Monetary Policy Committee, a two-day meeting in Abuja, the CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele, said the Aboki FX director is on the radar of the country's Apex Bank. A high court sitting in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, has granted a 20 billion naira aggravated damages to Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Sunday Goho, against the federal government. Justice Ladin Rakintola, who gave the judgment in Ibadan, said all relief sought by the Yoruba Nation activists are also granted. Justice Ladiron said the judgment would serve a lesson to government agencies who are fond of infringing on the fundamental human rights of citizens. The Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, has however said government will appeal the judgment. The National Industrial Court sitting in Abuja has restrained the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors from continuing with their ongoing strike pending the determination of the substantive suit before it. The court ordered members of the association nationwide to return to work while noting that no amount can compensate for the loss of lives during the strike. Justice Bashir Alkali made the order on Friday while ruling on an application by the federal government in the suit against the association. The doctors, however, in their reaction say that we will obey the ruling but will take all necessary steps to overturn it in court. The Assistant Commissioner of Police Operations, Lagos Command, has admitted to the Lagos State Panel investigating SARS-related abuses and the Lekki Toget shooting incident of last October that one of the videos he earlier presented of attacks on police structures was actually recorded on November 13, 2020 via Snapchat app. ACP Oludotun Utubona was under cross-examination by a lawyer for a group of NSAS protesters, Olorun Tomi Loba Olakunju. But the witness denied the entire flash drive containing video and pictorial evidence of destruction and violence suffered by the police in Lagos was sourced online without due investigation. The president and chair of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of ECOWAS, Nana Kufoado, is on a visit to Conakry, the capital of Guinea, to give the resolutions of the authority to the junta from the meeting held on Thursday in Ghana. The regional bloc had suspended Guinea over the military coup which overthrew President Alpha Conde.